Hello and welcome back to the February edition with the Investment Gem. Today I'm going to touch base on insurance for if you are an owner or if you are a tenant. Please keep in mind I'm not an insurance broker so I do not give insurance information. This is something you'd have to check with your insurance provider. Um, but I guess the main thing is how long since you've checked your insurance. Do you know what you're covered for as a landlord and do you know how much your yearly insurance is costing you and what your excess is if something goes wrong? These are the most important things to check because if you do need to put an insurance claim in as a landlord, can you afford to do this? I'll give you one example of something that has happened in the past in a rental property. Um, a tenant went out the back door and a handrail come loose causing her to fall and hurting herself. Um, that tenant sued the landlord in regards to the injury she received. So does your insurance cover liability insurance? These are the questions you need to ask your insurance provider. Ask them for the things that you would want covered in regards to loss of rent or the building itself or what happens when you've got a tenant in a home, what does that cover? If you're a tenant, do you have contents insurance? So if there was a roof leak in that rental property and your furniture was destroyed, that has to go through contents insurance, which is not up to the landlord to cover those items. So as a landlord and as a tenant, you really need to ask the right questions and shop around for your insurance to make sure you have the right cover and to make sure that insurance is affordable for you and you're covered for the items that you want to be covered for. As I said, I'm not an insurance provider, so you need to speak to your insurance company in regards to those questions, but it's always a good idea to review your insurance every 12 months if you are a landlord or you are a tenant, just to make sure you are covered for those unexpected items. And I'll see you next month with the Investment Gem.